I just died while warping. How does that even happen? Hey guys, Nolan the Gamer here. Today, we're playing Minecraft Legends again. So, I'm really excited. Just a quick recap here. In the last episode, we saved the zombie homestead, the skeleton homestead, and the creeper homestead. So now I can spawn zombies, skeletons, and creepers respectively. So that's pretty awesome. In today's episode, we are going to be defeating the Horde of the Hunt. And that takes over the northeast side of the overworld. It's destroying a lot of the land up there, so we need to destroy it. In case if you don't know, there are three different hordes around the overworld that the piglins brought in after I defeated the night beacon which happened in episode 2 right up there <laughs> so we're gonna defeat though the two nether portals that are left possibly the horde of the spore I don't know let's see awesome we're here back at the creeper homestead oh my gosh finally and now we are restoring this creeper homestead. We need to defeat this horde of the hunt over here. So I feel like it would be most efficient if we just warp over to this village right here. And that is the most efficient way to get over to here. Um, because all now all we have to do is go straight west and follow my marker. So that's pretty awesome. Oh, and there's something in the village chest. That's always great to have. Now I'm maxed out on wood and stone. Oh yeah, I remember I uh, fortified this village, so I have to get out the gate here. There we go. Awesome. So now nothing can defeat the village. Oh wow, this is very close by here. Uh, this is one I recently defeated. I think I did this... It was supposed to be episode 3, but then the footage got corrupted. So, sorry about that. These cobblestone guys will do for now. But I need to spawn some creepers, which I can now do, thanks to what we did in episode 3. And then I explained that in the intro. So as you can see, my flame counter down there, that shows how many I can spawn in. Now I'm out of coal. And as you can see, my uh, flames of creation counter is now full. So I cannot spawn any more mobs in to fight with me. But as you can see, they have no walls. Nothing to get through like we had to deal with down at the Horde of the Bastion. Which I attempted to do in episode 2, but it didn't go very well. Oh no, come on. Creepers, blow this up. Whoa. I'm very low on health right now. They're all just coming towards me. As I said, they have reckless attacks. And it just never stops. So we're going to need a lot more creepers, which means a lot more coal, which means I have to head back to the creeper homestead. Oh my. As you can see on my flame to creation counter, I have no more golems spawned in. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of disappointing. But, luckily, I can just warp over to that village, just like this, and then I can run over to the Creeper Homestead, gather some coal very quickly, because it naturally spawns there. There's also some redstone around here, because they spawn in swamp biomes, um, so that's pretty cool. A lot of skeletons live in swamp biomes as well. You can grab one of these speed things, and there we go, our first coal. So, it turns out that I actually can't gather coal yet, which is why I wasn't getting enough, because I only had like 25 from the Creeper Homestead. So now I have to go over to my improvements thing and get this improvement for gathering coal, I think. I have a lot new uh, metal. I have a lot new melodies now. It takes di it takes diamonds to spawn in skeletons. What? I and as you can see, I don't have enough coal but i do have the improvement for gather coal so i can put this so now in my improvements hot bar i can just put it right there all right so now we have the gather coal and that already gave us 25 coal now i have to go back over there because i want i want the maxed out amount of coal man where's the naughty list when you need it <laughs> you could just run through this swamp biome real quick and we should be able to run into some coal very quickly. I'm gonna need a lot of creepers to defeat these nether portals. And why I want creepers to defeat the nether portals is because they blow up. And as we saw back at the creeper homestead, I can use those and they do a ton of damage to these. 
So it's really easy to destroy the nether portals. Where is this LA getting its coal? Oh, this thing. I guess those things get you coal. Okay, so now I can build this creeper spawner. I can spawn all of these creepers. Which it does take a quite a big toll on my coal count. Um, it's going down by two every time I spawn in a creeper. So that's quite a lot. And now I have this entire creeper army with me. Like seriously, like look at this. This is insane. The creeper noises matter <laughs> so much. It's very loud for me too. It's just I wouldn't know if there if the splinkers were going off or there was a snake in my room or if it's just creepers. I would never know. Awesome, now I've got another creeper. We have 21 creepers with us, and possibly 23. Oh, 24. Awesome, we have 24 creepers following us. That portal stands no chance. I'm ready for this battle. Are you sure oh, about this one that? has lava coils? I was just here. Yeah. It had no lava coils. Come this way. Creepers, explode. Do something. Yes. Good, they did something. That's what I wanted. And the mid-air death, dude, what? Oh, no. Awesome, and I'm also maxed out on diamonds. Oh, the village chest is full there. So we're gonna gather all of the village chests and hope that there's enough prismarine so I can get more flames. Nothing yet. Warping to the next village. What's a blast tower? Damages and knocks back piglins in an area. Whoa, that's cool. I'm gonna head for the smaller one. So, just gonna go straight west instead of following my marker like usual. We're on our way to the horde of the hunt. Dun, 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 dun. Alright, can I build a well house? I can. Good. Oh, look at that sunrise, man. That looks awesome. It's like this game has, like, implemented shaders. So that's just awesome. I always appreciate some good implemented shaders. I'm hoping that the large one is just big and doesn't have any lava coils or crazy defenses. I'm hoping. What? No! Don't, no, no, please, no. What? No! <laughs> what? <laughs> what the? Come over here. Follow me. You're an army. Follow me. I'm gonna die, man. There's so many hoglins. This is insane. Oh, creepers, creepers, please don't blow up on some tiny thing. I told you. No. No. You know what? I'm just going to cure netherrack to the inside so I can spawn creepers right there. That's what I have to do. It's just so annoying. I still have six left, so might as well do some damage while I can. This is the time I need you to blow up. Very good. Yes. Now, see how much damage that does? It's crazy. And that is what I'm trying to use to my advantage. What the? Look how many hoglins there are there. Oh, the creepers are getting attacked again. No. I have to build some walls. Okay, I need some wood. I have to run all the way over here. The piglins will never be able to get in. It's awesome. Because they don't have any cobblestone golems to destroy any of my defenses. Like I do. A few minutes later... So we've almost made it the whole way around. This will make this homestead very, very safe, and hopefully it'll make them really happy. I'm allowed to get in, but the piglins can't. Okay, now that that is defended, we have to go back over to the Horde of the Hunt. Exclusive. Jump the fence, let's go. <laughs> These hoglins, they're so annoying because I can't tell whether they're dead or not. Because I can still damage them when they're in their, like, dying state or whatever. I'm telling you, man, the Hoglins are one of the most annoying things in this entire game. I wonder if the Nether Spreaders are going to reverse what I'm doing to cure the Nether Act. I wonder. Whoa! It didn't do undo, undo anything. I think it just heals piglins. Ah! This is insane, but I have to destroy this. Whether I do that by, by making a grass path in there or not, I have to do it one way or another. And it might be by my lonesome, I guess, because I'm not spawning in any golems. Because they just instantly get killed by all these piglins. And I feel brave enough that I can just go in here. I don't know how to recover health. Like, I can't just eat like in normal Minecraft. I have a good amount of health now, I think. This is very scary. Like, very scary. Oh, the creeper. The creeper area. Let's go over there. Oh my gosh, guys. 
I just died while warping. How does that even happen? Okay guys, so somehow, some way, I died while warping. So I was just about to get up, which is why I had my headset off. I was really low on health, and I got this like notification from Action, I think, that said that the Creeper Homestead was under attack, and I needed to be there to defend it. Now, I'd already built walls. I was pretty confident it was going to survive, but just in case, I was going to be there to build arrow towers and things like that. So I warped there using the map, and while the warping animation was happening, like I got lifted up and disintegrated into pieces or whatever, I was teleporting, right? And then somehow during that animation, I got shot by a blaze rod. I died while I was warping. So I don't know how that happened at all. That's a really, really cool thing. And I am glad I was able to experience that because that was crazy. But I do have to warp over to the Creeper Homestead. The flame! The flame! No! The flame! It's gonna get destroyed! Oh, good. Oh, good. I think they ran away. Awesome! These villagers are safe again. Villagers? These are creepers. I wonder why it said villagers are safe again. I don't think I need a whole lot, so I'm not gonna spend a ton on all these creepers. Nobody ex is gonna explode, alright? I'm gonna be good at dodging. And it's, that thing's gonna blow. That's kinda crazy, okay. Come on, this way. Ugh. It's dead. The portal's gone. It's done for. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. It's a 1%? You gotta be kidding me right now. Seriously? <laughs> no. The portal's at 1%. Oh my gosh, that's so annoying. Basically one punch from one of these golems and we're done. Like, we've done it. So, that'll be great. Come on, just punch it. Just punch it once. One little punch. Yes! Let's go! Whoa. What's going on, man? Yes! We have now defeated the Horde of the Hunt. Okay, guys, before we finish the episode, um, just real quick, whoa. We can now safely say that the Horde of the Hunt is completely gone. And now, in the next episode, we are going to be defeating the Horde of the Spore, all three of those portals. So this is going to be crazy. The Horde of the Bastion is already so buffed up with two of these big ones. So it's going to be crazy. But hopefully we're going to have a lot stronger weapons and all kinds of things to use to defeat those. So it shouldn't be too bad. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more, then subscribe to support the channel. Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Thank you.